So up guys, Gaming Royal Fanner here. On this new series of Engines of Guild Transit, I'll be talking about the MPX MP40PH. This is a new series that I'll be talking about. Similar to Amtrak Guide 365's Engines of Amtrak series, I'll be talking about Guild Transit's locomotives. The Government of Ontario Transit, or better known as Guild Transit, is the commuter railroad that serves Ontario, Canada specifically the Golden Horseshoe. It was founded in 1967 as an alternative to driving from the suburbs to downtown Toronto. In the years since its inception, Gold Transit and other agencies across North America relied on slightly modified freight locomotives to haul its trains. Around the 1960s and 70s, the age of the streamlined E and F units were gone. However, Gold Transit in its uniqueness still use them along with the EMD GP40TC, GP40-2W, and other freight locomotives. The reason they rather use freight locomotives was simply because it was easier to modify a freight locomotive rather than build a passenger-only design, and if the agency were to go bankrupt, the locomotives could easily be sold off to freight railroads, and at times, could even lease them to freight railroads whenever they needed power. In the 1980s and 90s, some passenger locomotives had wide body cab noses. This was the aesthetic of the day and it was primarily boxy. That brings us to the F59PH. The F59PH was purchased by GO in 1988, as the F40 and other locomotives could not pull the new 10 car train sets for added service. These were good locomotives that did well. However, GO wanted an even stronger locomotive with an aerodynamic cab that could pull even longer trains. In 2005, GO Transit decided to switch from the boxy design to a more aerodynamic design. They contracted with Motor Power Industries, or MPI, to build 27 new MP40PH-3C locomotives in order to expand its fleet and begin replacing the F59PHs, which were nearing 20 years of age. The model they selected had been tested by Chicago's Metro Commuter Rail Service and Boston's MBTA, so it wouldn't take long for testing. The MP40 streamlined design with a curved nose, swept back windows, and a full width cab was a remarkable development from the F59PH and gave the GO train a sleek new look, which GO Transit's paint scheme enhanced. The order was in batches, with the first order being 27 locomotives numbered 600 to 626 the second order being 20 locomotives 627 to 646, the third order being 10 locomotives 647 to 656, and the last order being another 10 locomotives 657 to 666. Although the MP40s were stronger, it came at a cost of speed compared to the F59PHs, it was only able to go 93 miles an hour, but that didn't really matter as only two GO lines, Lakeshore East and West, could reach that speed. The locomotive length was 68 feet or 20.73 meters. The height of the locomotive was 15 feet 6 inches or 4,720 millimeters. The width of the locomotive was 10 feet 7.5 inches or 3,238 millimeters. And its total weight varied between 285,000 to 295,000 pounds. MP40 was powered by a 16 cylinder 4,000 horsepower EMD 710 engine. It had a Caterpillar C27 ACERT generator to provide head and power, or ATP, to the cars, which varied between 4 and 12 cars depending on the go line and time of day. And finally, the axle arrangement was B-B, -B, which is typical for passenger. These were the first Go Transit locomotives to be able to supply power to a 12 car train all by themselves. The locomotive's body design also meant that it was more fuel efficient and aerodynamic and its engine was more environmentally friendly than other GO Transit locomotives. In 2015, GO 647 went back to MPI to become an experimental Tier 4 MP54AC. Initially, the deal was for MPI to convert 10 of the MP40s into MP54ACs. Initially, the deal was for MPI to convert 10 of the MP40s into MP54ACs if the prototype conversion was successful. However, Increasing service demands led Metrolinx to order 16 brand new MP54AC locomotives numbered 667 to 682, keeping the remaining MP40s unmodified. 
Once delivered, the new MP54 ACs will replace the remaining F59 PHs in service, which today still has not happened. The MP54 AC is the latest MPI locomotive. It's a genset locomotive using two Cummins QSK 16-cylinder engines rated at 2,700 HP each, which in total is 5,400 HP. Unfortunately, the MPI base plant in Idaho was closed down in 2019 as Go Transit didn't want any more locomotives from them, meaning that they didn't have anyone to sell it to. Anyways, back to the locomotives. Both the MP40 and MP54 AC are still on Go Transit, shuttling people from Toronto and to other places around the Golden Horseshoe. Here's some videos of what I've caught over the years. The MP40s and 54s are a sharp departure from Go Trans's generic look of former locomotives. They're reliable, sleek, powerful, and can get the job done. They continue to soldier on with Go Transit, and have made its mark and as of the making of this video, continues to do so in the history book of Go Transit, the Camille Railroad of Southern Ontario.